Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I'm going to explain how to add multiple appendices at the end of a document such as thesis or book or any other law document. At the moment, I have a lot of document which consists of two chapters. This is chapter one and this is chapter two. And I have added two appendices, appendix B and here is appendix A. And I'm going to explain how can we do this in LaTeX. So let's go to the LaTeX document. If you look at the document, I'm using the document class report and I have added three packages, mathematical packages, because the document contains a lot of mathematics. So I'm adding these packages. Then I begin the document and uh, I include the chapters because I have written the chapters and separate documents and here I have given the path. If you don't know how to include chapters into a document from different folders in different documents, I have a video on this as well and I would add the link to this video to the description of this video. If you are interested and you can watch that video too. So but I would just like to give a glimpse of how can we prepare a chapter in order to include it in a main document and that I would like to go to my main folder here you see inside the main folder I have constructed another folder and in which I am putting the uh, appendices appendix 1 and appendix 2 and here are the chapters this is chapter 1 this is chapter 2 if I open chapter 1 you see I have labeled chapter 1 over here so that if I want to refer to this chapter somewhere in the document I can do that and I have just added chapter no packages inside this and no command of uh, begin documents and end documents so uh, the same I have done with other uh, chapters as well now what I do I first bring the chapters that is chapter 1 and chapter 2 by giving the path inside the, by putting the path inside the include command if I run the document so the PDF of the document is now generated and if I go to the end there is no appendix now right and I want to add the appendices so I come back to the main file and here after the chapters I add the command appendix and then I again use the same command like I copy this and I paste this word here and since the appendices are also inside the folder chapter therefore I leave that part as it is and I replace the chapter with appendix with the name of the appendix and I have given the name appendix 1. If I build the document now, here you see the first appendix which I have included into the main file is now uh, added into the at the end of chapter 2. This is you see chapter 2 and here is the appendix first. If I do the same for the second appendix, I just copy this and uh, I paste it after this by pressing the control V button and I change the name of the second to appendix 2 because I have named the second appendix as appendix 2 and if now I build the document you see the second appendix which is appendix B this is my second appendix I have named this 2 and uh, appendix A and this is appendix B. Now I want to show you how can we prepare the document for appendix. So I open one of them like appendix A and if you see here I have uh, created the documents under the heading chapter and I have given the name this is my first appendix. You can give any name at this position and that would appear in the main document so uh, the appendices are in fact uh, chapters but they are converted into appendices by the command appendix because they come after the command appendix so they are converted into appendices and you can choose the name of your own choice 
for each appendix like I have done here this is my second appendix and for the first one I have chosen this is my first appendix so this way you can generate many appendices or multiple appendices at the end of your logic document at the end if you haven't yet subscribed to Safi Max kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and if you like the video don't forget to press the like button and share with others too thanks for watching